Sorley took over as starter. And now, Ronnie will be the play caller, leading an accomplished senior quarterback. Me and Coach Ronnie have a great relationship. He's known me for years. He's seen me develop from an 18-year-old kid to going to be 23 going to my fifth year. So he's very comfortable with me, and I'm very comfortable with him. You better think out all your options when you're going to design a play for Trace or call a play because he's going to ask the questions. So you better be prepared because he's going to know all the possible defenses that they can throw at him even on Tuesday. I think that's the number one thing is it makes me be on my game all the time. He makes me a better coach every time because I have to spend an extra hour just making sure I'm prepared to coach him. We're able to kind of have that conversation where, you know, how do you feel about how we're running one certain play? Or, you know, what do you think about maybe doing this? If we're thinking about changing something up. And I think that's something that has been beneficial for all of us. Now we can have that back and forth where we're bouncing ideas off of each other. He's the easiest guy to coach because what you tell him, he's going to do. So as long as you can give him all the options that he needs, he's going to go out there and execute it. A guy like Trace is like having another coach on the field. It's one thing for me to drop a play on a chalkboard and I think it's going to work. It's a whole other thing for the guy who's there and actually has to operate and see the things in the line of fire and how's it going to work then. There's times he's been able to tell me, hey, I don't know about that one. I don't know if you can see that. And there's other times I thought something was going to be really hard. And he's like, Coach, that's easy. We, we can get that no problem. Off the field, McSorley is soft-spoken. But his fire emerges when his fellow Lions need it most. It's all about winning for him, and whatever it's going to take to win and pulling the best out of his teammates and things like that. The thing I think he does a great job of, it's not a show for him. That's who he is, and that's what he is. When I feel like I need to say something, there's definitely a switch that'll flip. Rest of the season, 30 minutes, do your job. That's all you need to do is do your job and finish. When I kind of get into those situations, once I you know, put the pads on and kind of become... The Big Ten collision between the five and one Wolverines of Michigan and the undefeated second ranked Nittany Lions. But Shirley keeps it and darts for a first down and more. Slides down in Michigan territory, but Shirley has a runner. Kirk, you said that would be huge tonight. Barkley again motioning back in. It's an option look. They pitch it to him. Lock on the edge. Saquon Barkley turns the corner and scores again. time to make an impact as a senior on this football team. McSorley, downfield. Oh, Saquon, touchdown on the juggle. They fake it to Barkley, McSorley looking for the hat trick, fighting, reaches, touchdown. It is punishing Michigan. about the effort at the end? You talk about a kid that has one. Oh, he gets it across the progressive pylon cam. Lowers his shoulder. Winner. Watch him make this read again. They take Barkley. He's going to find a way. Runs right over the top of Josh Metellus and reaches at the end of that to get the ball into the end zone. That's definitely going to hold up. Not serious winner, Kirk. This is 75th start. A loss to Penn State would be Michigan's second of the season.
thrilled you're with us as you're watching the Big Ten on ABC. Joe Tessa Jordan, Todd Blackledge, Holly Rowe with you here at Beaver Stadium for fourth ranked Penn State for the 98th time in the grand history of Nittany Lions football taking on the Pitt Panthers. You know, a year ago, Pitt got the best of them. Of course, Penn State went on to win the Big Ten, playing an all-time classic Rose Bowl, and put forth now one of the best players in the country in Saquon Barkley. Penn State deferred. Pitt will receive. And the dangerous Quadre Henderson will be back to field the Tyler Davis kick. Drive fielded at about the two. And good coverage that time as Henderson is taken down. Receiver didn't even think it was intended for him. Watch the end of this throw. Pretty good protection. The ball sails high. And the intended receiver, Henderson, didn't even reach his arms up. He thought the ball was being thrown to somebody behind him. And an easy interception to start the game for Penn State. Four. First and goal after the turnover as Barkley comes back into the backfield. Quick pass. Quick score, Mike Gasicki from Trace McSorley. The star linebacker for Pittsburgh, who their coaches says has to play well today. Idowu got his eyes on Barkley and did, took his eyes off of Gasicki. And Penn State on the board easily and quickly. Uh, excuse me, my front lawn yesterday. I got images of Cousin Eddie <laughs> with that. <laughs> yeah. In a bathrobe and boots. Yeah. All side, defense, number 23. Five-yard penalty, third down. Boy, costly mistake. You have them backed up on third down. And now you give them five free yards. Now you put them in that same situation they were in a little bit ago. This could be a Barkley run. It could be a McSorley run. you got all kind of options at third and short after that five-yard penalty. And there's the guy that will choose one of those options. Penn State's outstanding offensive coordinator, Pittsburgh native. Third and two. And don't forget about Gasecki. And here he is on another RPO, picking up the block and into the end zone. DeAndre Tompkins paving the way with the block there. So remember, they had a short field to open up the game. For how long can Josh Conklin, the defensive coordinator of Pitt, hold these stars in check? Nick Sorley with time over the middle. Saquon Barkley, touchdown, Nittany Lions. I guess not long was the answer. See, they missed him on this similar kind of play a few possessions ago. This time, Barkley didn't miss him. He's going to slip right out and run right by Brightwell, the linebacker. There's no safety help in this coverage. He's the number three receiver to the field. That means it's a tough matchup for a linebacker on a guy like Barkley. And a big play, an explosive play for the touchdown. Forty-six yard touchdown catch, Saquon Barkley. Your corner takes the outside receiver. Your safety takes the number two receiver. That means a linebacker has to cover your number three. And when your number three has the skill of number 26, you got problems. Home run for Trace McSorley. Under six minutes to play. And it is awfully loud with Pitt backed up. After Gilligan pinned that punt for Penn State. Is that a safety? Mighty close. Yep. Yes, it is. The Penn State defense. Marcus Allen, his 11th tackle of the game, and scored two with it. Now, unlike a touchdown, the ball has to be completely out of the end zone, and what a tackle by Marcus Allen. The right tackle, Jared Jones-Smith not able to get a piece of him. And that's what Marcus Allen does. You know, as a safety, and he's played a lot of ball here, zero career interceptions, but he is a big-time tackler. And two more points for the Nittany Lions. Back in the lineup, very experienced redshirt senior coming back from injury. But that time he cost him five yards, and he makes it third and 12. Nick Sorley throwing back to the left to Barkley. Look out!
defend that? I don't have any idea. I told you number 26 was good. <laughs> wow. Georgia State had so much pressure on the back end. Is he going to give to Barkley here? No, he's going to keep it. They get on the face and Trace McSorley gets into the end zone. Through for 309 yards and four touchdowns. Deshaun Hamilton here, diving for the pylon and scoring. Penn State. Really good early on this year, and Marcus Allen here with the pick and brings it back deep into Panthers territory. Down about the 25 yard line, and from there, four plays later, it would be McSorley on the keeper. 166 rushing yards on the day for the Nittany Lions on top, 35-0 at the break. And then second half, more of the same. It's McSorley through the air to Brandon Polk as Penn State wins and wins big. Now Trace McSorley, who was deeply disappointed by that close loss at the Rose Bowl, wants to use that disappointment as fuel this season as a chance to rally Penn State from behind by four, from the pocket. McSorley flips it short. Gets made by Jawan Johnson, who breaks free. For Third and ten. Low snap. McSorley steps up, delivers. Barkley dragged down short of the first down. Pressing the line of scrimmage. McSorley to throw. Caught. First down, Saeed Blackno. 45 seconds. From the pocket, McSorley escapes and has a lot of room. And slides down. First down yardage. They'll stop the clock briefly at the, the timeout. Inside of 30 seconds. McSorley looking to escape again. Flips it downfield and is caught. Just throw for the first down. 24 seconds to work with. McSorley flips it at the last minute. Barkley. Still running and scoops yep. set. I really like to watch Joe Moorhead work there as the offensive coordinator. How calm he is as he communicates with Trace McSorley and the rest of that offense. He's right here. Watch how he's just talking. Just, he's talking to he's see Barkley now. Barkley's in that huddle, the last guy. Why not, man? Why not get the ball to 26 somehow, some way? Win or lose with Saquon Barkley right here. You know, Mr. Jewel's going to be eyeballing him as well as his buddies. One play to decide it. McSorley across the middle, touchdown! Jawan Johnson, Penn State wins it, a walk-off touchdown! Wow! An 80-yard drive in 24. McSorley going for the end zone! Fred comes in, ball is caught, Deshaun Hamilton, touchdown! Might be offensive pass interference. That's the question. Did Hamilton push? Came with the blitz, threw the deep ball. Jonathan Crawford was right there on the coverage, and did Hamilton shove him? Jeff Servinsky, our referee, our white hat. Here we go. There's no foul on the play for offensive pass interference. Touchdown. And it stands as a 24-yard touchdown reception for the redshirt senior, Deshaun Hamilton. <laughs> now, my question if I was Tom Allen, I'd say, well, why'd you throw the flag there? You know, I... What? Yeah, Tom Allen's not going to be happy <laughs> yeah, with the pickup of the flag. Why'd you throw that flag? Backup quarterback with McSorley out there and Barkley. And they're throwing and they're completing for a touchdown. Back Stevens out of the backfield. Trace McSorley to his backup quarterback, Tommy Stevens, for the touchdown. We didn't ex we expected to see Tommy Stevens in this game. We didn't expect him to catch a touchdown pass, but you see the creativity of Joe Moorhead putting him in. He's such a good athlete, 6'5", 230. Husky faithful underneath to Barkley, and Barkley with that great speed. Not played Josh Rosen this year, Leonard Fournette last year. Because of 
minor injury for Fournette as McSorley. He gives up 92 yards per game on the ground, number one in the country. Over the middle it goes, Johnson on the grass in the backfield with McSorley on third and long. McSorley throwing a deep ball, got a man, it's caught at the 20. Deshaun Hamilton breaking a tackle, touched by Mc... from the team. McSorley stepping up, over the middle there's Kosicki. A great job by Trace McSorley keeping his eyes downfield. You're going to see this a lot, a three-man rush for Washington. McSorley. Keeping it on second and long. What a fake. Should have been. And a throw on target. It was. Ton of time. McSorley. Open receiver to the. situation. 